Hey everybody, this is Guru Friends Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. <laughs> FMAschool.com Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis Serrano from Filipino Martial Arts School and today's another episode of Bayani Talk and today I'd like to talk to you guys about forgiveness. Now, why am I talking about forgiveness? Well, we, in the two videos ago, I talked about compassion. That we need to teach our students compassion so that they're not going to become uh, bullies themselves. But then now we have, to, we have to talk about forgiveness as far as if, if, somebody, if you have wronged somebody. Now, this is, this is by no means not exclusive to martial arts. Of course, this is one of those things I like to think that's kind of a life lesson uh, situation. So, uh, with that being said, there's two types of forgiveness. There's a forgiveness uh, that you get from God, and there's a forgiveness that you get from your fellow, uh, uh, from your fellow human being. So, I'm going to talk about the second one first. I'm going to talk about the aspect of forgiving from other, uh, forgiveness within each other. So, when when you're the one that is the one that that caused somebody else some pain, forgiveness is not about you. It's about the person that you have accosted. Okay, but then the question then is how do we get ourselves to how do we get ourselves to the point of the road of, to forgiveness? Well, first first and foremost is that you have to first acknowledge that what you did is wrong. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because you don't wake up normally people don't wake up in the morning and say, "You know what? I think I'm going to I'm going to do wrong by my best friend or I think I'm going to do wrong by so and so." No, we actually when we make these type of mistakes it was it's because we had good intentions. You know that saying, the road to the road to hell is, is paid with good intentions? Well, I mean, again, like I'm starting to say is that we don't really think about like, hey, I'm going to do something wrong today to this person. We actually thought what we're doing was right. But it ends up that we didn't do it. We didn't do it right. We did something absolutely wrong. So getting the first step of getting forgiveness is to accept that you have done something wrong. Because it's about the, again, it's about the person that's, that you're seeking forgiveness from. If they're going to forgive you, then that means they need to retrust you to not make that same mistake twice. And the only way for them to know that is if you know what you did was wrong and that you're going to not make sure that you didn't you don't do it again. Because if you don't um because if you don't think what you did was wrong, then there's a very like high likelihood that you're going to do it again. Because you didn't think anything was wrong. Like if you don't think anything was wrong of stealing, then you're probably going to steal again. If you don't think it's wrong for you to to uh, hoard, <laughs> let's, let's talk about COVID-19, hoard all the supplies and then turn around and sell it for a higher, much higher price, then you're going to do it again, okay? Because if you never thought that was something wrong. So if you if you believe what you did is wrong, then your li likelihood, then you're probably not going to do it again. So that's the first and foremost. The second thing about to the road to forgiveness is that you, when you ask that person for forgiveness, be prepared for them for not to forgive you. You need to be, you're, it's not about you. You don't, they don't owe you anything. In fact, you, you need, you're the one seeking their forgiveness. They don't owe you diddly squat. So you're going to need to be able to have them. Um, uh, if they forgive you, then you're, then you're lucky. If they don't, well, that's, that's just the way the, the, the chips fell. And it's up, I mean, depending on, on, on how much they're willing to forgive you in the future, maybe they will, maybe they don't. But don't go in there. Asking for forgiveness and expecting anything. Whether they forgive you or not, that's completely up to them. And, and third, the third thing, whatever their decision may be, whether they forgive you or they don't forgive you, you need to learn to forgive yourself. There's no point in punishing yourself over and over again. You acknowledge what you did was wrong to the person that you have wronged. You have asked for their forgiveness. And if they gave it to you, great. If not, that they, then what else can you do? There's only so many things that we have control over and, and then being able to have them forgive you or not, that's completely beyond your control and they don't owe you anything. But you do owe yourself to the point where you don't continuously punish yourself. I do believe that you got to make sure that you are, um, that you don't do it again. But for the most part, you're going to have to learn how to forgive yourself so that you can move on. So the three th steps that you need for, to, for the road for forgiveness. One, you need to be able to acknowledge what you did was wrong. Two, you need to be able, to, when you ask for forgiveness, be prepared for them not to forgive you. And three, regardless of the outcome, be able to forgive yourself. That's just my thought. I know this has nothing to do with martial arts, but I think it has a lot to do with, with life. And martial arts is, is life. 
So if you're looking for a school that talks more beyond, uh, that teaches, that discusses beyond martial arts, but about life as a martial artist, come visit us at www.fmaschool.com. Do you, do you agree? Do you believe that these are the three steps that you need to be to, for, for the road for forgiveness? Comment down below. Until then, my name is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out. God bless and keep swinging them sticks.